If this starts, I will be... You better go buy another lottery ticket. Amazed. Legends, welcome back to the channel. John here on a beautiful day in Lincolnshire. Hopefully, it's going to get much better because behind me in this garage is my very first car. It is a K11 Nissan Micro, and we've teased it a little bit on the channel recently in that we're going to get it out and get it to Rustaville too. That was a crazy idea that Dad had and sprung upon me. It's been sat in this garage unused, unloved, and left since 2015 when I parked it up and bought my Audi A4 B5. I haven't really had a good look at it. A year ago, Dad and I had a quick look at it and went, oh, that would be cool, wouldn't it? But I haven't really seen it since. It could be totally rotten. And if it is totally rotten, then we're obviously not going to spend thousands of pounds on it to get it Rustival 2 ready, especially because we've got the Museum Micra and those videos are on the channel. In this video then, Dad and I are going to open the garage. We're going to look at the car and see if it's worth doing. And if it is, get it out and see what we can do this afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, and well. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. It is. It could get a lot better. I could be sitting in my garden somewhere then. You could. However, we've decided that it's time to get the K11 Micra out of the garage. Yeah. And actually, I think there needs to be a disclosure here in that I say it's my first car, but it's not my first car. But it is my first car. It's the first one you use on the road on your own. Exactly. So you bought me an L uh, M Reg mm. K11 Nissan Micra. What was that? 94 plate. Mm. Um, and I didn't really drive it because I couldn't get on with it. And I learnt to drive in your Peugeot instead. You did, yeah. And we had to sell it because it wasn't very good, was it? No. It, so basically, that, knackered. that was my first car, but wasn't my first car. And then I passed my test and you bought me this. Tell yes. me about this car, because actually I, I don't know the history behind it. I just saw it in the yard, saw it, I thought, no, nah, you're not one from the Nissan Micra. But I rung you up and asked you, do you want a Nissan Micra? And you said yes. Yeah, I did. That's it. Um, how was, much did you pay for it at the time? I can't remember, mate. It was over a grand. But it was seven years old when you bought it for me. So it's a W edge, it's a 2000 plate. And yeah, bought it in 2007 for me. Mm. 24,000 miles on the top. Yeah, it's low mileage. Um, I so had to pay a premium for it. It really. was in your yard, it had been traded in. Yeah. And you spoke to the sales team, I'm guessing, and said, I want that for my old boy. Yeah. Good. I racked up a lot of miles in this car. Well, you did, yeah, you used it. That's what cars are for. <laughs> it is my first car. I went all over in it, and again, I've put, you know, 100,000 miles on the clock and had it for however long. Yeah. Um, what are you expecting to see? Because we last had this car running. I'm expecting to see a red Nissan Micra with flat tyres. <laughs> yeah. But we last had it running, what, 10 years ago? And a knackered battery. Mm. There's a battery over there. <laughs> I've got my eye on a car with a battery. You can leave that museum micro alone. What's the plan of attack? Because you want to get it to Rustaville. I've just changed my mind. Let's take a smart car each. <laughs> <laughs> Should we have a look at it? We're going to convoy in smart cars. And you can do. Mm. But Coupland, can I... Coupland and Coupland in smart cars. Coupland at and Coupland in the plastic smart... hall. In plastic. plastic. Yeah. At least we'd get there in then. Why do you want to get this car back on the road? It's rusty, isn't it? it yeah, to rust of all. it is. Okay, let's get the garage We're open. We're going to sell 15 cars to finance it, though. Mm. Concours for rust of all. Let's get the garage open and have a look. Yeah. I'm going to let you do the honours of opening the garage door. Sounds like a plan. Don't you start looking behind my shed, see what I'm I've got stashed away. see what you've got hiding. And you don't worry about that. You worry about this micro. <laughs> So I've had a bit of a tidy up this morning in the garage. There it is, look. Wow. What's that puddle? Uh, I don't know, oil maybe, coolant? I, mm -hmm. I genuinely have no idea. Um, so like I say, I've had a bit of a tidy up this morning mm. so I can get to it. I can see some junk. Shall we? That's Mrs. Coupling's flipping Hey, oh, this is the big reveal. You can't do that yet. Should we take this off? Well, let me move this, because this has got the keys on it. Uh, oh, I've got the keys. Keys are here. Should we get this cover off? Yes. What is this cover from? Because it's obviously not an Austin Rover. Not a Montego. Ready? Yeah. Da, da, da. Oh, got it stuck. Okay. Well. 
I think we should just take, no, we should just take two seconds just to have a look at it. Bask in the glory. So let's just bask in the K11 glory. Let's have a look around. Where's the antennae? Oh, I don't know about that. Right, so we've got the cover off. Cobwebs. Is it? Mm. It's a bit um, dusty and dirty. I can see that the tyre this side is flat. The tyre the other side actually isn't flat. Um, and the paintwork hasn't gone as pink as I'd expected it, or um, milky, I suppose. Where I don't know where the number plate's gone. Where has the number plate gone? When you took the number plate off it and put it on your bum in the other thing. I don't know where the number plate is. Um, let's have a look then. Is it on the door? W232 MFP? Yeah. Is it? On, on the, the door. door of number plates. Well, that's the, that's the front number plate then, yeah. Crystal of Boston. I don't know that's... where the back one is though. Hmm, yeah. Uh, is it on your trailer? Maybe. First port of call, I'm guessing, pump the tyres up. Sounds like a plan, mate. That sounded tender. It is. Rotten tender. <laughs> Not bad. Okay, fine. That's not okay. bad, mate. Oh, my heart was in my mouth then. It's, if it's just took a grinder to that, it would have an owl. Yeah? Yeah. This is going to be emotional. Let me get the car compressor. Poor old thing. Is it rotten? No. Oh, not, good. Not here. It, it's tender up that end. All right, let me plug that this. That wheel in. always did go down. Yeah, I'm expecting all the wheels to be uh, flat. I think the plan of attack is get it moving moving, and get it out of the garage. All right. And then we can see what we're playing with. We've just got a load of rubbish underneath it. Yeah. Noise. Right, let's um, blow the tyres up. Joking apart, if that needed welding, it's not a big job, is it? No. It's not, it's not monstrous, is it? Right, so that has pumped up the front tyre there and the rear tyre. Um, I've got to get to this side now and the other side. I've moved the MR2. Hopefully I can squeeze in and pump these tyres up. Right, tyres are all pumped up. What's the next plan of attack? Get it out of the garage, isn't it? Yeah. Shall I um, clear all this stuff out from underneath it? It's got Mrs John Keaton's <laughs> swinging chair on it. <laughs> What's... Uh, is it a bit spidery in there? Just a bit. I bet they're starved because they ain't caught any flies, are they? Oh, that gear change is a bit stiff. Let's have a look in there. Well, it's not sea solid, is it? No, it, I think it's. I think it's had the handbrake off. Where's the sump I got you? Uh, up there. Oh, excellent. <laughs> okay, good. We're going have you got any keys? Are you in the car? Yeah. What are you doing in there? Are you going to steer it? Yeah. Okay, we're going to try and get it out of the garage. Just need the keys. Blown the tyres out. Hopefully, it'll come through this gap. Uh, <laughs> if it doesn't, we're going to have to think of round two. But uh, here it comes. You want the keys? Yeah. You're in the driver's seat now. How did you that? Cobwebs in here. Well, yeah, I'm surprised you did that, to be honest with you. What's that? Got in. Wait, well, will she start? No. <laughs> right, hard locker then. Okay, I'm going to have to just gently roll it. Yeah. So this might take us a while. I don't think it's going to go. It, it will go. Will it? That's all right. Yeah, it, I think it will, but it's going to be tight. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to go further forward a bit. Yeah, but I ain't started to turn too much yet. For the sake of moving this trailer. It's not worth risking it's it. It's not worth damaging the car. Don't take this the wrong way. We'd be better off on this concrete to work on it. Yeah. Because yeah, I can put a jack under it and things. Can't I? Yeah. So what you're saying is just roll it out of the garage. Yeah. Onto there. What is the plan? Put it on this bit of concrete. Let's have a look at the head gal. Okay. You get in it then, and I'll roll it forward. We're not going to do that. Are we, we could hook a jump pack up to it, see if it starts. 
Don't do that then. <laughs> it won't start, will it? Try it. <laughs> Fine. There is no way that this will start. Content. I, I, I understand content, but it ain't gonna start. Content. Go on then, get in it. Content Meister. <laughs> if this starts, I will be... You better go buy another lottery ticket. Amazed. Um, are you in it? Oh, hang on. Make sure it's out of cog. Yeah, I'm yeah. about to attach her up. She's attached. Go on then, have you got ignition? Hang on a minute. Have you got ignition? Yeah, all right. I'm just listening for things. Oh. No. It would have done if the fool wanted to stay the out. Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? Yeah, it's stale fuel. No! Are you filming that? Are you filming that? Yeah! No way! Oh. oh, you killed it. She started. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've got no I've got no amps, mate. I'm not, I shall need the jump pack leaving on. Uh, I'm it's a Nissan Micro, mate. No way did that just start. Are you ready? Yeah, I want the jump pack on. I'll put, you're, you're gonna have to hang it on. I'll hang the jump pack on again. We've got stand, no amps. Stand if I've got, got a good battery, it would go. No, it, it wouldn't. Yeah, I bet you could drive it up the road. Go on then. <laughs> oh. Mind your tripod. Let's go, Rustaville. There we go. Whoa! Hang on. Oh, she stinks. It's the fool. Move her forward then. It's the stale fool. Whoa! Didn't expect that, did you? Yeah, I did. Well, I didn't. It's a Nissan Micra. That you get. It's a Nissan Micra, mate. What did you reckon to that? Well, just what I expected. <laughs> That's why I told you the best cars in the world. Poor, talk about stale petrol. Now we can see her. First time seeing natural sunlight and day daylight, and actually the first time being started up in nine years, 2015. I can't believe that fool will run it. Well, I've not put any fuel in it. And they say, and they say it dies after a year. It doesn't have smell though. Poor. You wouldn't want to be taking it round the block, would you? No, the, the, I think uh, the performance would be a bit dim. Well, there you go. There she is. Better just polish her up and get an MOT on it. <laughs> uh, did the brakes feel okay? Did they feel stuck? They're not, they're not very good, are they? <laughs> well, if we'd got a good battery on it, we could drive it round the garden. <laughs> No joking apart, I wonder how much fuel's in it. How much fuel is in it? Quarter of a tank. Quarter of a tank? <laughs> Let's leave her ticking over. If I was to take this jump pack off, would it die? Yeah, because it's it got, just die, it's yeah? got no way. It's, oh, it's she's got, died already, look. <laughs> okay, what's the plan? We better have a look to see if it's posh rot. Yeah. yeah. Right, well, she's out the garage. We can see where she's been. There is. Uh, well, there's rust on the floor here. Yeah. I don't know what that rust is. Um, I'm Rusty gonna, full. I'm going to get rid of this carpet while we've got her out. Ooh. Oh, I need a new wiper blade at the back. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, there's a bit of rust on this wheel arch. Don't worry about that. 
I am worried about that. Why? Well, it's rusty, isn't it? Yeah. What do you expect? It was rusty when you put it away. Yeah, it wants the petrol draining. It's starting to go, but it's not rotten there. Is that that sill? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at that wheel arch. In there. Just move your head. Let's have a shift in, in there. there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it is starting to go, isn't it? But and there's a little bit of oh, don't surface rust here in here. Oh, I do worry about that. See this here? I can't put my finger through it. It's tender though. But it's on its way, isn't it? But ah, let's have a look. Ace is solid, mate. All that suspension mounting solid. I think we on. should take the terrible window tints off. No, we've got to leave it as it is. We've got to leave it chavtastic. I think we may have to do some brake pipes now, mate. Oh, really? Is that one no good? But no. Well, it doesn't does it? It's only a bit of mechanic, isn't it? The axles... The wheels need a refurb. Oh. <laughs> Interior needs vaxing. Can you just go and slap yourself? <laughs> Need some new replica dealer plates. Get onto retro plates. Where is the aerial? I don't know where I've put it. Well, that's not a me problem. Let's take a look inside it now. Oh, look at this front wing. Oh, don't worry about that bugger. It's not going to fail the MOT on that, is it? Might do. Good. Oh, that didn't sound good. No, she's all right. There's something rattling, but... It's solid, isn't it, there? Structurally. Don't poke holes in it. I've her. got to test it. <laughs> I'm being serious, though, dude. I know, I know. Can't break it. Well, good. I'm glad. Yeah. Oh, I can't stick my fingers through it. I'm trying. Well, I'm glad about that. All right, Angie. She's a bit rusty, but... What are you doing right now? I'm it? assessing it. Seeing just how bad it is. Mmm. Mm. Well, it's not beyond repair, is it? I bet the front cross member's going to be rotten. It wasn't. It wasn't before. Ah. Oh, I can hear rot. Where? Well, maybe I can't. I thought it was the uh, rot, but maybe it's the front bumper. It's the exhaust falling off. Oh, is it? Or the sump. Is the sump no good? So Something like got is that rusty? It's leaking. Oh dear! Want a new sump on it? New sump needed. The cross member's not posh rotten. That's good news. <sighs> What's the engine bay actually look like? Horrible. It is horrible, isn't it? But if you look down here, it's no rot. Well, there was a mouse living in here, or a rat, wasn't there? Oh, yeah, as you can see the poo. Through here. <laughs> oh, let's have a look at the cells. What are you checking now? All down through here, look. Well, that should be all right in there. <laughs> it's spiderwebbed. Yeah. Where are we going now? <laughs> oh, in the boot. I don't know what's in the boot. I doubt there's anything in the boot. 
Oh. Oh, There's there it is. There's loads of stuff in the boot. What's that? Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah. That's your garage. Oh. 1964. That's all them ponds still there. Look, where Mercedes is now. Ah. I wondered where I put that. Yeah, I did. Well, there's stuff in the boot. Okay. Some spares in there. Uh huh. Some overalls in here. There's, there's lots of spares in there. Mm -hmm. and... Oh, what is that? Nissan overalls. No. Let's have a look. You need to get your Nissan overalls on. No, it's not overalls. Oh, it's a. Oh, it's an. Oh, it's a coat. Get it on. <laughs> I brought my Nissan overalls with me for you, this job. You, you need these on. See, that's where Merc is. Yeah. That's quite a nice picture. I'm glad that's been in the boot because it's not faded then, has it? I've got me Nissan jacket on now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sporting the Nissan jacket. It's Pete. Uh, at least that fits you. Turn, turn around, show, show us it. Da, 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 da. <laughs> nice. You have to take that off Why? because I don't want you wearing it and uh, getting it dirty. In the boot was a whole host of number plates. Uh, TT for Kate. That's uh, the TT Roadster that we've got. TT for Kate. Oh, a brand new J13ONC rear plate, yeah, which I need. I haven't. Uh, my other one is failing, so keep that out. TT for Kate. Uh, TT for Kate. How many of these have I got? Uh, J Another one. J13 ONC. Uh, okay. Don't know what that was on. <gasps> nice. New Way Nissan W232 MFP. We're going to need that. Uh, oh, blimey. They're the original number plates for my A4. Amazing. Uh, We've just found the original dealer plates. Yeah, you're going to have to have a new backing, mate. For the car. New Way Nissan. Where was that? Don't know. Well, it's got... Uh, uh, RG216YH. RG. Rotherham? I'd have said Reading myself. But oh, nice. But they are the original number plates, aren't they? I'd have thought so, yeah. Oh. I've also found some number plates. GJ10 RVU. But I have no idea what they are. Oh, it's Mrs. John Cooper's Fiat 500. There you go. Original dealer number plates as well. What else is in the boot? You tell me, you put the beggar in there. Let's have a look. Yeah. Load of them. Yeah, load of them. We'll keep them. They need them. <gasps> what are they? Are they Nissan floor mats? What's all this in here? Well, that's a wind deflector for a Toyota MR2. There's some, there's loads of stuff in here. Let's get all this out. Also in the boot, a pair of Nissan overalls. I'm assuming they don't fit me. That's not a floor map for a micro, is it? <laughs> what is that for? Rover. Is it for a Rover 75? Have we got a set of Rover 75 floor mats? I should think you had them in the back of this, wouldn't you? Ooh, there's a lot of them. Um, Streetwise. Oh, yeah. That's for a Rover Streetwise. Oh, no, it's not. No. They're brand new. Oh, brand new Universal Car Mat set. They can go straight in the bin. Terrible. You can have them. Terrible. What's wrong with them? Useless. What do you mean you're... I'm not going to be putting them in the micro. In the bin. It was good enough for you when you had What's that? Money. What's that? What's that? That's some foam for a... K11. Oh, yes! Put it on. That's it. Job's done. Most of all, here we come. Well, I didn't realise I'd got these, which are some wheel centres for a Toyota MR2. Didn't realise I'd got them. Stuff that I have hoarded. Excuse me, what are you doing? Well, at least the radio works. Got a wireless. But it's not the original Nissan one. I don't know if this is how you had it chaved up when you was an old boy. Yeah. These have got micro mats in. Oh, yeah, I've got the proper micro floor mats. This is, the idea is we take it to the uh, Rustival. As, uh, as, it, as it was when you were... Uh, 
used it. As you used it. Look at them blacked out, boy. More. <laughs> I don't know how many blinking number plates you've got that thing. How many blinking number plates, yeah? And Bolly gave me that for you. What is that? I'm sure it's the ECU for this. Oh, nice. And what's that? Didn't I raid a seat? Oh, yeah, yes, From yes. Scrapyard. We, we did raid a seat, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, look, I forgot I'd got this original K11 Micra uh, hard boot liner. What's that? Oh, that was in my MR2. Right, we've got that out. What's that? What is that? Oh, it's off a... There you go. Another one. What's that? Oh, yeah. Are they, are they, are they the tools? Toolbox? No, I don't think so, are they? What's that? Oh, ah, I need that locking wheel nut tool. That's a cash generator barcode, I can tell it you that. Is. What's it for? Chains. Chains. BO16, that was Shane. There you go. Shane. There's a wing nut. I was 35. Right, let's have a look at the boot floor. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's all sorts of stuff in here. What we got in there? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh oh. Surface. Okay. Well, at least it's surface. Oh yeah. Money. Quids in. Put that in the pot. Yeah, it's money, isn't it? What's that under there? There's a boat there. Or that's something. A... That's a Nissan Microbolt. Oh, I don't know where that's gone from then. Continental Sport. There's the jack. Oh, there's a receipt there and all oh. sorts of stuff. All sorts of good stuff. But that needs pumping up. Let's have a look under here. Uh, this is like a little time machine, isn't it? All the stuff I'd forgotten I owned, all the stuff I'd forgotten we'd got in the micro. Oh, this is brilliant. I'm excited. Arr. Oh, condom packets. Uh-oh. <laughs> Thought they're not used, we're all right. What's that? Drugs. Cold and flu, Tesco Max. What's the receipt for? What's the date on it? This could go wrong. No, it's, it's for your CD player. Is it? Yeah. Holford's? Yeah. 2008? It's got my name on it. How much was it? Why has it got pounds? my name on it? 79.99. 2013? What? 2013? Ah! It was for the MR2. New CD player for the MR2. That's what that was. What we need is to clean this out while we're in here. What are you doing my car chair? I'm going to clean your boot out while we're in there. Well, it's not time for cleaning it, it's time for... Well, you've just spent enough time looking at trash. <laughs> You're enjoying this way too much. Put them safe from it. Right need that bolt. Is that the spare tyre? Yes, son. Uh, do we think it's the original? Well, it's the date I code? think it's been swapped round and put 1301. on. 1301. So, the, what's that, the 13th, 13th week of 2001? How flat was it? Like £10. Sorry, what are you doing? It's not time to, we're not prepping now. Ah, I'll tell you one thing I haven't checked. What's that? What's the mileage on it? 100,305 miles. Oh, that's not what I expected. That was a big spider there. Yeah, Sorry, most, of, spider. most of them have died of them and not getting anything What's to eat. What's in the glove box? Nothing. Ooh. Oh, is that a sat nav? Yeah, nav man. Nice. Go around the back, mate, check the lights. No. Ready? Go right. then. Yeah, brake lights. Side. Indicate left. Indicate right. Fog. 
Indicate, yeah. Reverse. Yeah. Yeah. Side. Fog. Dip, dip. Is it all working? Lights are fine. I bet the, wa I bet the washers don't work. Go on then, try them. <laughs> there you are. Well, there you are. Do you think you should pass an MOT today? No. Back brakes are a bit seized, mate. You can feel yeah. they are. I'll just take the arm brake off. Well, she's not very seized. <laughs> What's that? It nearly squeezed through, I think, with a run, wasn't it? You reckon it it pass an MOT? <laughs> <laughs> Just to clean the brakes up on a run. Right, so what's the plan? So we've got it out of the garage. Yeah, I'll put it back in again and say, yeah, that's all right. That's <laughs> it. We'll go for Rustival on the, on, in September. Um, she looks nice and shiny out here, but she's actually quite dirty. Um, we're going to give it a good old clean. What is the plan? Because you're the mechanic, I'm the one that will make it look nice. What we're going to do, my old mate, is strip the brakes down, fit some brake pipes, make sure the springs aren't busted, make sure the boots are okay. The boots and stuff will have probably be gone, won't they? Put new fuel in it. Definitely this new fuel. New on battery it. on it. Yep, well, we've got a car over there with one on. Stop it. Where are you going? Just looking. Oh. You're reversing her up then. Well, no. careful of that door on that fence. No, oh, it's, it's, it's rustable. She is struggling to run. Well, yeah, the petrol's no good, is it? It's made a few brake pipes, but I ain't panicking about that. Yeah. Tyres look okay? That one wants taking off the rim and resealing, doesn't it? I might get the rims refurbished. I think that's well down the list of priorities. <laughs> right then. What's the plan, son? Got a wiper blade in stock? I have no wiper blades in stock, oh. no. I think the plan is to get it on the trailer, Yes. get it to your house, Yes. and then we can do the work on it. Yeah. But initial reaction? It's about what I expected. There you are. Well, there you have it then. The first time in 10 years and the Micra is out of the garage in the sunshine. And actually, it doesn't look too bad considering it's been in there. It isn't a dusty, dirty, horrible old garage. It is nice and dry. Did I think it was going to start? No, genuinely, and neither did Dad. And you can tell because his reaction was, did you film that? Were you filming that? And yeah, thankfully, I was filming that. It's not as rotten as I expected, and I'd forgotten about all the stuff in the boot. The interior has deteriorated a little bit. The plastic has gone all sticky and murky. It's something I'm going to address. But I don't think you're going to be seeing too much on the car. I'm sure we're going to be doing bits such as, I don't know, brakes and springs and maybe some welding, because Dad likes to be a bit rough when he's looking at sills and with his hammer and his finger. It's a micro. <laughs> but it has got a thumbs up from dad the videos are coming then to the channel because we are going to be taking this fingers crossed to rustival the car as i say hasn't had an mot for 10 years it's not going to be perfect so please don't think i'm going to spend thousands of pounds on it but i'm going to get the wheels done i'm going to tidy it up we're going to get it working and running nicely and then I won't forget about it for 10 years, I don't think. If you've enjoyed this video, thumbs up, please. Let me know in the comments below. What did you reckon? Did you reckon it would start? Genuinely, no trickery there. That is as shot. And uh, what would you like to see us do to K11 Micro? Next time you see it, it's probably going to be at Dad's house. I'm going to get that fuel changed and number plates on and on the trailer. But I'm looking forward to this. Till next time, have a great day, whatever you're getting up to. Take care. Goodbye. As ever, thank you for watching this video. Dad and I have selected a couple more videos for you that we think that you might like. They're here now. Just give them a click to watch them. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. It means a lot to us. Thank you.